Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Monday, July the 25th, 2016. Taking a look now at the S&P 500. As you can see, for the most part, the market did negative pulse wave today for the most part. Still in that um, in that down channel, but not a lot of uh, momentum or conviction either way. Looking like it's getting ready to bounce off this trend line, this 215.36 trend line. And the market would be in play again to the upside with the break above 217.40. So 217.40 is going to be closely watched and monitored. Market probably will remain quiet until Wednesday's, uh, Wednesday's FOMC. And then we'll see uh, what the Fed's outlook is on rates. I don't expect anything to happen uh, with rates going forward. So I suspect this, uh, this price pattern uh, will just move sideways, sideways to slightly lower prices getting closer possibly to the long-term trend line here and that's pretty much it uh, here in the S&P 500 all right looking at the Nasdaq 100 slightly different picture as this market is in a positive pulse wave uh, situation right now and it's looking like it wants to continue to climb higher breaking the 114 so I'm looking for this to break 114 um, sometime this week. Uh, between now and the FOMC is possible as markets like to run up ahead of FOMC. So I think that the overall general pullback in the stock market today is going to set the tone for that to happen, uh, especially come Tuesday into Wednesday. Looking at your bond market, uh, you can see here uh, this market is also in a positive pulse wave situation. Market's well supported at 137.13 on the intraday chart. And it's still overall in a bear pattern on an intraday. But it's looking like it's getting ready to break out above the trend line resistance of 139.17. So with that being the case, it, it, it could give it enough power to get above this or at least touch the 142 upside resistance. This is going to be a very interesting one to watch because, as you know, when you're below the Kumo cloud and you bump your head above the bottom of the, right here at the bottom of the Kumo cloud, it tends to knock prices back down within the trajectory of the lower part of the Kumo cloud, and that would keep this market within the 138 price between 136 and 138. So we'll have to see what happens uh, come Wednesday with the Fed. That announcement will give this market some direction. All right, looking here at the uh, crude oil market, as you can see, this market on an intraday basis is pulse waving down, gaining downside momentum, uh, bouncing off of a, a new intraday low here, uh, hitting 27.82, and then closing at 27.92. Uh, it is in the oversold category but it looks like it could possibly try to lock something in here as futures uh, remain uh, under pressure hitting the 42 handle this market has nowhere else to go but to the downside right now so momentum to the downside is looking pretty ugly uh, if this market were to break uh, let's say I want to give it 2760 if it breaks 2760 then it creates a downward um, trajectory on the daily chart and uh, a negative pulse wave on the daily chart. So this market will be ready to rock and roll to the downside. And it looks like it is quickly becoming a shorting candidate right now. All right, taking a look now at your, your gold, as you can see, uh, gold is still some selling in there, still weak. But not a lot of conviction with this seller. Uh, the market was going up and down all day today. Um, on the long-term side, it looks still uh, it's still bullish overall, even though it's losing some of that bullish momentum. But it's it's still bullish. But the market also is in a negative pulse wave situation on the daily chart and on this intraday four-hour chart. So. 
Uh, closing at 125.58. Upside resistance is at 127.11, just above the long-term trend line. And then that puts you at the bottom of the Kumo cloud. So this market is under a lot of pressure and could be looking at more downside. So uh, looking a little weak right now uh, in the GLD. And looking here at the Nugget, as you can see, the Nugget did play out today um, to the downside. So anyone who was shorting that had had a lot of fun today dealing with that market only because uh, the futures was weak but the weird part is that it wasn't that weak where it would show the nugget coming down that much but nevertheless it is and nugget is not looking too hot it's uh, touching that um, long-term trend line on the daily chart and it could go into a negative pulse wave situation further it's already negatively pulse waving overall on the intraday and daily chart but if it breaks the trend line support on the daily chart uh, that will put it uh, trading below 119.28 close below 119.28 would be very bearish and that could set the stage for an acceleration uh, to the downside here so that's going to be an interesting one uh, to watch going forward um, you know when we get these signals it's not it's not you know what you want to see per se but you can't ignore them either you have to you have to deal with them and when you get crash alerts or you get rally alerts um, you, you gotta take heed to them you just can't uh, you can't afford to look the other way uh, when, when you when you get the bad news and um, I'll show you what I mean in a minute alright here's your uh, silver SLV and there is a crash alert for this week for this one um, as the market is coming down here and didn't get too much downside conviction on it so it's nothing really you know terrible that you can say about it or anything big to write home about but it's one that you have to watch it's in a negative pulse wave daily and the intraday chart but overall pattern is still bullish so can't say too much so this is a corrective mode uh, overhead resistance of 1879 if taken out on the intraday chart here uh, I would see longs starting to pile in on the SLV and that would help push this to 1950 into $20 alright looking at the gold futures as you can see um, same situation here markets just caught in this sideways trading range but bearish overall so uh, upside resistance is at uh, 1329.70 so a break above 1329.70 would set the stage for longs to enter the market but be cautious because that would throw you into the Kumo cloud of death taking a look now at the silver future same situation but as you can see we close on the upper side here market still remains relatively strong overall it's in a bullish market lost some upside momentum but still bullish this is going to be one to watch this week a break above 1985 would bring in the longs and push this trajectory up beyond the twenty dollar range so definitely watch the silver futures this week ahead alright looking at the crude oil futures as you can see uh, it's locking in on the downside here on the intraday chart and the daily chart is in a negative pulse wave as well and it is gaining downside momentum not looking really good now for the crude oil you do have a crash alert for this week and that crash alert is playing out right now the market on the futures is about 50, uh, 50 plus cents uh, into the money from the weekly crash alert so this is one to uh, to watch as well as it begins to accelerate the downside pressure alright looking at the US dollar the US dollar seems strong in today it is pulse waving last breakout uh, it's still still moving and is well supported right now at the ninety seven dollar range and it's around ninety seven twenty five now so it's coming down to test that a violation of that would have it bouncing off the 9689 trend line 
and anything below that will put it into the Kumo cloud and it could quickly accelerate below that but as you and I know with this being FOMC week I do not see the Federal Reserve allowing that to happen I see the dollar being well defended here along with bonds I don't see the US dollar or bonds or anything else regarding the US stock market going down ever again no crash not even a serious correction ever ever again they will not allow it it's just how it is looking at your IYR looking at your real estate shares here as you can see it's upward also on the intraday basis on the daily chart it's extremely bullish and this market intraday is well supported at 8412 uh, a pullback to there or a violation of that would put it toward the trend line support of 8324 of which I see the market being bought up once again as this market is heading and marching toward the hundred dollar mark so I do see the IYR hitting triple digits regardless of what you say about real estate I don't care if housing prices went to five dollars for a townhouse and fifteen dollars for a single family house I don't see this ticker ever going down either ever ever again the US economy will be backstopped for all eternity they will never allow this to go down or experience a serious correction ever again I do not care about the debt I don't care if the US goes into a hundred quadrillion with followed by 10 million zeros the stock market will never go down again <laughs> every time it does go down it's going to be bought right back up again so you might as well just back up your truck and buy as many SPY and triple Q shares as you possibly can and whenever the gold and silver is strong like it's doing now when you you buy those pullbacks as well and then when they're finished allowing gold and silver to go up you know they're gonna crash it down that's when you're gonna have to short it you gonna have to put on, put on your big boy uh, pants and your big girl pants and short the metals even though you don't want to but that's where the money is going to be made it's just how it is and, and it looks like this uh, game that's being played with the oil is going to go on also for a protracted period of time where well, they let it get up to the, around the fifty dollar mark and maybe even sixty on a spike but it's going to be shot back down so every time you see crude oil rally it's going to be time to short it it's just the nature of the markets we don't have to like it we don't have to understand it but we do have to trade it so remember Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can, give nothing back. And if you don't have time to watch the markets, hire me. That's what I'm here for. Be encouraged. Peace.